your surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Ryan Bowser in Ford City today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Shop and Save at Franklin Village is a family-owned, community-dedicated supermarket with a wide variety of quality food and friendly personnel to make your shopping experience easy. Stop by their award-winning butcher shop where you'll find the freshest cuts of USDA-inspected beef, pork, and poultry. Head to the bakery for the freshest bread and rolls, and don't forget to stop by the deli for an excellent selection of cold cuts, meats, cheeses, and prepared foods like their fantastic fried chicken. That's Shop and Save at Franklin Village.
Hello, everyone, and welcome to High Top Sports Network. I'm Jake DeLuca bringing you the action here tonight from Armstrong Junior Senior High School. We have a good one for you today in the Whippeo Class 3A Section 5. Armstrong playing host to the Knock Knights. These two teams on a different trajectory to start their season. Knock not only looking for their first win, but trying to take their first set of the season. Uh, the Knights have been shut out so far, uh, losing 3-0 to Shaler to open up their season in non-section play, falling 3-0 to Hampton on the 9th of September. September 14th fell to Freeport 3-0 in a section game. And their latest game upcoming uh, tonight, uh, they lost to Burl 3 to nothing. So Knock, a team sort of in transition, and Armstrong, of course, always competitive here. They are perfect to start the season. They got their season rolling with a 3-0 win over Burl in Class 3A Section 5 play. Then they played a non-section game against Butler where they won 3-1. Armstrong then took their talents home for their first home game, defeating Mars 3-0, and then Highlands on the 16th, also 3-0. So we have one team still searching for their first uh Set win in knock, and Armstrong has yet to lose a set. So, as I said earlier, both teams kind of on opposite ends of the spectrum here as the buzzer sounds. Time for warm-ups has ended, and now we will get the playing of the national anthem as well as the starting lineups for these two squads. Armstrong's roster looks pretty evenly split up between seniors, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. So a lot of different experience levels here on this Armstrong girls roster. Of course, they are driven by their seniors, Jade Budek, Lane Miller, Olivia Pock, Mackenzie Egley, and lastly, the senior, Jackie Nestor. And I'm going to throw it down to the floor for the PA announcer to bring us in here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you all please rise as we honor America by the playing of our national anthem. Introducing first, the player for Knox. Number eight, Brene Coe. Number 14, Nicole Fritchlow. Number 23, Crystal Ekus. Number 25, Morgan Pender. Number 27, Alyssa Gallagher. 
Number 11, Madison Gardner. Number 16, Melissa Perestori. Number 21, Cece Kosecki. Number 31, Tierra Mock. Number 7, Sabrina Squat. Number 17, Brent Smith. And number 33, Molly Butterball. And those are your starting lineups here for tonight's match. This, of course, this game, of course, brought to you by Ryan Bowser State Farm. Like a good neighbor, Ryan Bowser is there. We'll see who will start out here with the opening serve between these two teams. Armstrong, 4-0, 3-0 in section. Knock. 0 oh and 4, 0 oh and 3 in section as these two teams take the court to get set number one underway. Armstrong Libero, Lane Miller waiting to sub in here once the opening whistle sounds. And it looks like Lane will be coming in here. And heading to the bench will be Kaylee Allensworth, the sophomore middle blocker here for these Armstrong Riverhawks. And it will be the visiting knock Knights starting off with the opening serve. Back to get us started is number 27, Alyssa Gallagher, the junior outside hitter for the Knights. Received there by Miller. Hawk just pushes that one across, set there by Sarai, uh, Sarai Weaver, and then hit over by Jade Dudick. Hawk pops that one up. Cassidy Adams hits it across. That one dug out nicely there by the back row of Knock. Hawk with the cross court set to Adams. That time tipped by Gallagher. So Armstrong will open us up here with the first point in the first set. Allensworth checking in now here for Katie Romaley. And that'll send Lane Miller to the service line here for the Riverhawks. Miller serve across. That one received by Bryn Smith and then sent across there by Fooderbaugh. That ball landing just inside there will give the Knights their first point here of the contest and back to serve now will be Brene Coe. She's a senior setter for the Knights. She gets that across, received by Adams. Pock with the set. Allensworth with the kill attempt. Great dig there by the libero, Nicole Critchlow. Jay Dudek able to extend the play and then sent across there by Sarai Weaver. Back row hit over by Dudek. And a free ball played over by the Knights. Dudek to Pock. Up to Allensworth with the push. Finding the weak spot in the defense. Was Allensworth there for 
the point. So now the Riverhawks lead by one. Checking in and heading to the service line is Lily Atwood, the junior here for the Armstrong Riverhawks. Atwood serve across. That one received by Gardner. And the Knights just unable to control that one as it hits the court. And now Armstrong with a two-point lead as Atwood will serve once more. Popped up there by Coe. He gets across. There was a joust at the oh, net. And they're going to get Armstrong there. They're going to say it deflected off a Riverhawks player. So the Knights sticking around here. Down one early on in the first set. Back to serve now. Carly Booterbaugh, the freshman middle hitter. And a quick sub in here. Gardner heading to the bench. Coming in. Sierra Mock. Buterbaugh gets that one across. Adams receives. Set up there by Atwood. Joust at the front of the net. Adams trying to set up her teammate, but a little miscommunication there as this one is all tied up once again at 3-all. Once again, back to serve it will be Carly Buterbaugh. Buterbaugh's serve received by Lane Miller. Hit across in the middle row by Dudek. They're going to call Allensworth, I believe, into the net there. As Nock takes the lead here, 4-3. Buterbaugh back to serve once again here for the Knights. Buterbaugh's serve received by Miller. Set by Atwood. Hit there by Allensworth. But that one deflected by the front row of the Knights. Received on the other end there by Crystal Ekus. Great dig there by Dudek. And then Adams... Hits it across. Set up there by Coe. Atwood with the set. And able to get the point there on the slap over was Mackenzie Egley. And now we're all tied up at four once again here. That'll send Cassidy Adams back to the service line. The junior outside hitter gets that one across. Set by Coe. Diving for it there was Ekus. She gets it across. Atwood with the set. That'll go once again to Egley. Able to be dug out there, though, by Coe. And Allensworth with the big-time block there in front to put Armstrong back ahead. Once again, Cassidy Adams back to serve. Too much on the serve that time from Adams. As Crystal Ekus watches that one go in front of her for a point for her team. Back to serve now, the libero, Nicole Critchlow. Critchlow serve across. Lane Miller receives. Set by Atwood. Just a little too far behind. Allensworth that time. As the miscommunication nets the Knights a point. Once again, the libero, Critchlow, back to serve. Received again by Miller. Atwood bumping it up for Dudek. She tries to just pop that one over lightly, but unable to get it across the net. The Knights now with their largest lead up by two here early in set number one. Critchlow back to serve here for Nock. Received there by Dudek. Set by Atwood. And hammered down there by Egley. Mackenzie Egley showing off the kill power there. Finding the spot in the back row of the defense of Nock for the point. Now subbing in to serve here will be Jackie Nestor. One of the seniors on this Armstrong Riverhawk squad. Serve is across. Received by Critchlow. That one's set by Coe. And then two Knights kind of running into each other there. Both of them going for the kill. But it'll fall helplessly to the court. As the Riverhawks tie this one back up at seven. Nestor back to serve. That one received by Buterbaugh. And, yep, they're going to get knocked for going into the net there on that play. So, tally another one up for the Riverhawks. 
As once again, Jackie Nestor back to serve. Set up by Co. Hit across there by Smith, but well, not quite across. That one gets stuck in the net. As Armstrong now with a two-point lead. Just moments ago, it was the Knights that held a two-point lead. Armstrong, I'm sure, not satisfied with just a two-point lead here. They'll try to add to it as Nestor serves. Received that time by Smith. Kept alive there. Good effort by Gallagher. Set up by Atwood. That one deflecting off a player. Stayed alive. And they're going to get a double hit. I believe it was Egley once again that sent that one over. It was either Egley or Romaley. Romaley 17 or 7 and Egley 17. Just saw a 7. So one of them will be credited with the kill as that serve is across. Hitting that one over will be Smith. Bumped up there by Nestor. Received that time on the other side by Gallagher. And then hit across back row by Critchlow. And that one landing just inside. Get another great kill by Mackenzie Egley. And that will force a timeout by the Knights. I want to thank you all for joining us here on this Ryan Bowser State Farm game night on High Top Sports Network. Like a good neighbor, Ryan Bowser is there. And while we have a moment, why don't we hear from Ryan? We'll be right back after this quick break. For your surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Ryan Bowser in Ford City today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And welcome back, everyone, to High Top Sports Network. I'm Jake DeLuca on this Ryan Bowser State Farm game night on High Top. Like a good neighbor, Ryan Bowser's there. Jackie Nestor back to serve again, making quite a difference from the service line here in her stint there. That one hit across by the Knights. Joust in front, off the back there, kept alive. Adams trying to hit it across there. A great effort by Lily Atwood, Cassidy Adams, and uh, also Katie Romaley uh, for keeping that play alive as long as they did. I remember uh, that that play kind of looked like back on the schoolyard whenever you're playing hacky sack and the one guy would get the hacky sack to stall on the back of the neck there. You kind of saw that from uh, Romaley there as the ball kind of nested itself on the back of her neck before being awarded a point after four hits from the Riverhawks. This volley continuing. It's a good one so far. That ball hit across by Coe. Diving dig there by Adams. And that effort for not on the side of the Riverhawks as that falls down to the court for a knock point. Riverhawks lead it by two. Back to serve now number 16, Melissa Car uh, Carasturi. And the Riverhawks will get the point there as Melissa Karasturi dove for the ball, but just a little short on the dig attempt. Checking into the game here for Armstrong is Olivia Pock. Pock will now go back to serve here for the home team. Pock serve across. Three ball heading over there. That one sent by Co. Set up by Pock. That one deflecting off the top of the net and onto the knock side of the court. Great kill there by Katie Romaley. Riverhawks now opening up a four point lead. Pock once again back to serve. And a miscommunication there once again by the Knights. Two players trying to play the same ball. And that will result in a Riverhawks point. Once again, it'll be Olivia Pock back to serve. The senior setter sets that one away. Popped up there by Karasturi. Received there by Lane Miller on the other side. Dudek going to send that one across. 
received by uh, Suderbaugh. And that one will stay in on the kill by Sierra Ma. So the Knights sticking in this first set here. Back to serve will be Madison Gardner, junior defensive specialist here for the Knights. Received by Miller. Falk with the set. Hitting that one across that time was Sarai Weaver. And they're going to say that that ball landed out of bounds. So Armstrong picking up the point, and they will now serve once again. Back to serve will be Jade Dudick. The senior outside hitter for the Riverhawks. Dudek serve across, received there by Critchlow. Popped up by Karasturi and then hit over. Hawk across court set, and what a kill there by Cassidy Adams. Adams leaping ability on full display on that kill, and a great set by Olivia Pock as well. That'll set Jay Dudek back to serve once more. Dudek serve across, just missing the top of the net by mere inches. Dudek receives that one. Pock the set. And the push there. Great dig by the Knights. Pock with the set to Weaver. Dug out there by Critchlow. Set up by Karasturi and then sent over. Pock able to receive it. Lane Miller with the bump. And perfect placement there by Cassidy Adams. Once again, she gets the point. That's back-to-back -back points scored now by Cassidy Adams. And that will force a knock Knights timeout here while we have a second. Taking a look at the 2021 Whippeal Coaches Association rankings for the Whippeal Class 3A. Armstrong uh, started the preseason at number five. They are now up to number four. This is the latest Coaches Association rankings. They came out September 13th, so I would imagine we'd get uh, this week's uh, Coaches Association polls out pretty shortly, but uh, the latest is Armstrong up to four. But if we look at the PG Whippeal rankings, uh, they have Armstrong number one in Class 3A, just ahead of two other uh, section opponents in Armstrong section, uh, Hampton at two and Freeport at three. And if you go down a little more, they have Mars at seven. So uh, the Whippeal Class 3A Section 5, uh, very well represented in this uh, rankings. And outside of the timeout now, Jade Dudek back to serve once again here for the Riverhawks as they have opened up a seven-point lead over the Knights. That serve just skipping over the top of the net, diving for it was Madison Gardner, but just unable to get there in time. Call it an ace for Dudek. Dudek serve across, received there by Critchlow. And hit into the net that time by Brene Coe. A good net presence there by Armstrong, led by Katie Romaley. Helped to get that point. Dudek once again back to serve for Armstrong. Received by Critchlow, another long receive. And that one, they're going to call into the net on, I believe, Karasturi uh, for the night. So Armstrong picking up another quick point. And uh, I'm not sure if you'd call that an ace, but I'm sure Jade Dudek wouldn't mind it being considered one as she's back to serve once again. Dudek serve, received on the other end, that time by Gardner. And dunked down Romaley once again. Coming up big on that front row for Armstrong. It's been quite a run here by these Riverhawks with Dudek at the service line here. She prepares to take another swing at it. And Armstrong with another point. Referee on the ladder kind of 
pushing the ball along as it was in front of his face and clearly going out of bounds. No way a knock player could make the play. Just a kind of funny interaction there. That one received by Critchlow. Hawk sets it up there to Adam. She has to dive to make the play, and then Lane Miller sends over a free ball. Set up there by Kara Sturry. Great dig there by Dudek. This ball, can it stay alive? Oh, what hustle there by Miller, Hawk, uh, Weaver, and Romaley also in there. So the serve streak from Dudek comes to an end. As now, the Knights will take it from the service line. It'll be senior Morgan Pender back to, uh, back to send it away. Received by Adams. Hawk with the set. Weaver gets the kill as that one deflects off of Kara Sturry. And now Armstrong just two points away from taking this first set here by quite a large margin. Kaylee Allensworth. Checking in the game here for Jackie Nestor as Lane Miller will get ready to serve here for the Riverhawks. Miller serves. That one received by Karis Jury. Punched across that time by uh, Buderboff. Joust in front of the net, but they're going to get the Riverhawks with the infraction there. And that will now send number eight, senior setter Brene Coe, to the service line here for the Knights. Coe's serve across, received there by Dudek. Pock with the set to Adams. And Adams, yet another kill. Cassidy Adams has been flying all over the court and has really just been a heck of a neck front presence for the Riverhawks here. Uh, so far throughout the season, and really uh, in this first set as well. That'll send junior Lily Atwood to the service line. She gets it across. Critchlow unable to handle that one. And an ace from Lily Atwood will give, you, give us our final score here in set number one. Armstrong taking it 25-12 to 12 here on this Ryan Bowser State Farm game night on High Top Sports Network. Like a good neighbor... Brian Bowser, he's there. So what started out as a Bit of a back and forth through, I would say, the first 10 points. Uh, ended up in a lopsided 25-12 to 12 win for the Riverhawks. And, uh, you know, looking at the numbers, we talked a little bit about it before the start of this game and kind of during the game as well. But uh, these two teams come into this on completely opposite ends of the standings here. Armstrong yet to drop a set, let alone a game, a perfect 4-0 record, 3-0 uh, in section play. Uh, and then kind of the antithesis of that knock, 0-4, 0-3 in section play. So, And uh, they, they still are looking to pick up their first set this season. But they're going to have a tough time against last year's section champ, Armstrong. Well, co-section champ in what was a wacky year last year, uh, Armstrong, Hampton, Freeport, and uh, Mara is tying for the section championship. I don't think I've ever seen, you know, four co-section champions before. But, you know, 2020, nothing was too not, – you, you could say nothing that would surprise me. So it kind of lined up with the last year and how wacky it was. But Armstrong trying to kind of get a lone section champ championship again. I know they didn't mind sharing it last year, but there's nothing quite like having it all for yourself. And right now, the only two teams that are uh, undefeated in the section are Armstrong and Hampton, both at 3-0. and uh, Freeport 3-1 and on the season. Knock on to the court here for set number two. Armstrong making their way out onto the court for set number two.
and we will see who will start out with the first set, I believe, or with the first serve, excuse me. Believe it'll be Armstrong since Knox started with the opening set in frame, or set number one. Opening serve in set number one. And the River Hawks once again starting set number two, same way they started set number one. Uh, Kaylee Allensworth coming out for the libero, Lane Miller. And back to serve will be Jade Dudek. She had quite a nice run from the service line in the first set. We'll see how she starts off in set number two as we are underway. Set up there by Co. Received on the other end by Miller. Hit across by Weaver. Popped up by Smith. And hit in the middle row there by Critchlow as that one travels out of bounds. So Armstrong picking up the first point here as Dudek once again will serve it up. Dudek serves, skipping across the top of the net, diving for it that time was Madison Gardner, or Gardner, just unable to get it up enough to be played by her teammates, and that will be 2-0 early on here for the Riverhawks. Dudek will serve once again. As that one meets the net and will fall down on the Armstrong side for a knock Knights point. And that'll send Brene Coe, the senior setter, back to the service line here for the Knights. Coe's serve across. Received by Miller, set by Pock, and Weaver will hit it across. Nice dig there by Critchlow. Coe with the set that time to Ekus. Pock diving for that ball, but unable to make a play on it as we're tied up early on here in set number two. Set number two, all twos on the scoreboard. Once again, Brene Coe to serve. Received by Miller. Pock with the set. And that one just a little too much mustard by Katie Romaley. As the Knights pick up the point and take the lead here, 3-2. Early in set two. Co sends it across. Miller will receive. Pock with the set to Adams. Nice dig by Critchlow. Set there by Co. Blocked in front by Romaley. Sent over. Received by Dudek. Set by Pock. Adams this time will take a crack at it. And that one just outside that near, near side uh, sideline. Just out of bounds there as the Knights now opening up a two-point lead behind the serving of Brene Coe as she sets to strike it again from the service line. Miller will receive. Pock with the set. That time to Weaver. That'll deflect off the hands of Brene Coe. And the Riverhawks will pick up the point here as Lane Miller tracks back to serve. Miller takes her approach and swings this one across. That one will land out of bounds on the far sideline. Or no, they say that was in. Judges initially looked like they called it towards up. Oh, nope. They, okay. Little do -si do here as the Knights finally awarded the point and the serve. Back to serve is Carly Buterbaugh. Hawk with the set to Weaver. That one pinned between the defense and the net as it falls down to the court for a Riverhawks point. A couple of substitutions coming on. Lily Atwood checking in as well as Mackenzie Egley coming in for Pock and Weaver. That'll send Lily Atwood to the service line here for the Riverhawks. That one across, received by Booterbaugh. Co with the quick dump to the other side. Atwood with the uh, set and then hit across by Egley. Critchlow trying to set up, uh, I believe that was Ekus on the far side of your screen there, but her kill attempt meets the uh, far side pole and little return to sender there as we're tied up at five. Atwood with the serve, received by Critchlow, Co with the set, and hit across there by Mock. Miller bumps it up there to Adams, deflected up front and then taken by Critchlow, popped up by Co. 
And then hit across there by Ikas. That one, though, out of bounds on the near sideline as the Riverhawks take the point and now a one point lead. Lily Atwood will serve again here for Armstrong. Atwood serve across, received there by Ikas. Co popping it up to Mock. She sends it over, dug out by Miller. That'll set Allensworth up for the kill. Nice dig on the other side by the Knights. Dudek receives it on the other end. Atwood to Adams. That one popped up in front. And then just misplayed there by Ekus. And that'll be another Armstrong point. Two point lead for Lily Atwood and the Riverhawks as she sets to serve. Riverhawks lead it one set to none here in set number two. Atwood serve across. Co with the set. That time looking for Moth. And the Knights pick up the point there. The far side wall for Armstrong. Unable to send it back as Knox staying in this one. Critchlow will serve. Received by Miller. Atwood with the set to Adams. Diving dig there by Co. Popped up by Critchlow and then hit across by Gallagher. Atwood with a back serve there to uh, Agley. Kept alive here by Miller. Adams with another kill attempt. That one looked to be deflected off the front row. Indeed it was. They'll get it just off the fingertips of Bryn Smith for the Knights as Armstrong now with a two-point lead, sending Cassidy Adams to the service line. Received there by Booterbaugh. Hit over by Gallagher. Diving for it was Adams, but unable to get there in time as the Knights bring it back to within one. Now it's going to be 17. Bryn Smith, the sophomore opposite side hitter here for the Knights. Smith sends it across. Received by Dudek. Atwood able to tip it over. They're going to call a carry, I believe, on the play there or a lift rather, um, but that'll send either way, that'll send Bryn Smith back to serve once again, all tied up at eight. Received by Miller, set by Atwood, Dudek with the kill attempt, dug out that time by Booterbaugh, set by Coe and then tipped over by Mock. Set by Atwood and then hammered down by Mackenzie Egley. Much like set number one, this Starting off with a little back and forth here. Teams exchanging leads. It was around point 10 last set where Armstrong took over. And back to serve will be one of the seniors on this Riverhawks team, Jackie Nestor. Nestor's serve meets the net as we're back tied up at nine. Quick sub coming on here for the Knights. Checking out is Sierra Mock, and checking in to serve uh, junior Madison Gardner. Gardner serve across, received by Dudek. Atwood with the set, that time to Egley, and that one hammered down. The front row there looked to be uh, Gallagher and Booterball trying to block that one back, but instead it gets pinned against the net, and the Riverhawks will retake the lead here as Olivia Pock checks in to serve here for Armstrong. Pock serve across, received by Critchlow. Co popping that one up to Gallagher. She sends it over, received by Adams, sent across to Dudek. Kaseki will receive it. Nice dig there by Pock, and that'll be sent over by Weaver. Received on the other end by Critchlow, popped up by Co, and that'll be Gallagher going for the kill, but instead, that ball will meet the net for yet another Riverhawks point, and that'll send Olivia Pock once again back to serve here. Pock serve across. That one received by CC Kaseki, but Looked like somebody let the air out of the ball once Kaseki kind of received that one. It went nowhere. 
and fell to the court for another Armstrong point. Kaseki back to receive. Critchlow popping that one up, looking for Gallagher. The front row there, Sarai Weaver with the block in front. And much like last set, Armstrong starting to take hold. Now with a four-point lead, largest in this set by either squad, Olivia Pock to serve. Kaseki trying to receive that one, but just couldn't get it in time, as that's an ace for Olivia Pock. And a timeout taken by the Knights here as they're behind five on this Ryan Bowser State Farm game night on High Top Sports Network. Like a good neighbor, Ryan Bowser is there. While we have a moment, we're going to take a pause in the action here to hear from some of our sponsors. But don't change that dial. We'll be right back here on High Top Sports Network. I'm Jake DeLuca. See you out on the other side of the break. Shop and Save at Franklin Village is a family-owned, community-dedicated supermarket with a wide variety of quality food and friendly personnel to make your shopping experience easy. Stop by their award-winning butcher shop where you'll find the freshest cuts of USDA-inspected beef, pork, and poultry. Head to the bakery for the freshest bread and rolls, and don't forget to stop by the deli for an excellent selection of cold cuts, meats, cheeses, and prepared foods like their fantastic fried chicken. That's Shop and Save at Franklin Village. And welcome back to this Ryan Bowser State Farm Agency game night on HTSN. I'm Jake DeLuca bringing you the action. Olivia Pock going on a nice streak here from the service line. She'll continue here now as both teams are on the court. Pock serve across. Received that time by Gardner, popped up by Co, and then sent over by Critchlow. Received on the other end by Pock, and then quickly sent across by Weaver. Popped up, that one landing in bounds, kind of dancing with that far side boundary, but they're going to mark it in for Knock, and that will now send number 27, Alyssa Gallagher, junior outside hitter for the Knights, to serve. Pock with the set, Dudek. Showing off the vertical as they call Knock with a double hit. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's the first double hit call of the contest here, about halfway through set number two. Back to serve now for the home team is Jade Dudek. Dudek serve across. Popped up by Ko and then sent over there by Ikas. Pock with the set over to Adams. And Adams finds the weak spot in the near side corner for the point. Now a six point lead here for the Riverhawks. Once again, it'll be the senior, Jade Dudek, back to serve. Received on the other end there by Ikas, popped up by Ko, and off the deflection, the Knights will get the point. Lane Miller stretching out to try and save the play there, but just a little out of her reach as the Knights now will serve, and that'll be Brene Ko. Ko serve across, received by Miller. Pock with the set. Weaver! With the kill, but that one just out of bounds on a near sideline. So the Knights trying to dig into this Armstrong lead. They trail by now just four. Their largest deficit, six points here in set number two. Set number one, they fell 25 to 12. As that serves away, received by Miller, set by Pock, and Adams with the rocket shot. The defense helpless to do anything about that absolute bomb by Cassidy Adams. So Kaylee Allensworth will check back into the game here for Jackie Nestor. Lane Miller will now serve it here for the Riverhawks. Miller serve across Critchlow and company. Making it better to watch that ball soar out of bounds on the backside. So now, Knock will serve it up. 
And back to serve, it'll be the freshman, Carly Buderbaugh. Miller receives that one, Pauk setting up Weaver, and Weaver able to find the weak spot in the middle of the D. As the Riverhawks back up to a five-point lead, Atwood checking in as well as Emery Rumbaugh. So Emery Rumbaugh, the freshman, getting some run here as Atwood heads to the service line. Rumbaugh listed as a middle blocker and opposite side hitter. As this ball from Atwood is across, set up by Coe. Joust in front, Allensworth and Adams combining for the block on the play there. Looked like Allensworth got the brunt of the ball on that block. And that, of course, now will force a knock Knights timeout as they trail by six points. This ties the largest lead of the set here held by Armstrong. And while we have a moment, I'm going to cut to commercial here, but... Make sure you stay locked on to High Top Sports Network. I'm Jake DeLuca here on this Ryan Bowser State Farm game night on HTSN. With over 40 years of experience, the fine folks at Steffi's Country Catering and Adrian can provide you with several scrumptious options for your next family gathering, corporate event, or tailgate. Make sure to try one of their custom meat and cheese trays or pick up a delicious Sunday takeout special. Steffi's Country Catering is a leader time silver best of winner three years running. And as the holidays approach, get back to celebrating with friends and family and leave the cooking to Steffi's. Sugar Rush Cupcakes by Tara are available by order. At Steffi's Country Catering, find them on Facebook. And welcome back, everyone. As Armstrong is set to serve, it'll be Lily Atwood at the service line. She gets it away. And a free ball coming over, or not, as it meets the uh, metal pipes above. Still Armstrong picking up a point, courtesy of the metal pipes. Now a seven-point Riverhawks lead as Lily Atwood will once again serve this one away. That one going across, joust in front. They're going to say that the Knights are the guilty party in that interaction there. So Armstrong with another point now, just four away from taking a two sets to none lead here. In this section matchup, Atwood serve across, received there by Buterbaugh, set by Coe, and then punched over by Mock, diving to the floor, Jade Dudek, Cassidy Adams able to hit it across. Popped onto the other side by Mock. Atwood with the set there to Allensworth. She's able to tip it over. And yet another point for the Riverhawks as their front row continues to find the weak spot in the defense. Lily Atwood once again back to serve. That one, too much power on that one as it sails out of bounds. The Knights trail it by eight with Nicole Crichlow, the senior libero, back to serve. Crichlow's serve received on the other end by Rumbaugh. Adams slaps it over. Set by Coe. Going up for it there is Mock. Atwood with the serve. Smacked across there once again by Rumbaugh. And the Knights unable to get the ball across to the other side here, so that'll send Cassidy Adams back to serve for the Riverhawks. Adams serve across, received by Critchlow, set by Coe, and that's going to be hit across by Gallagher, but that'll be hit out of bounds. And now set point for Armstrong as Cassidy Adams retrieves the ball to serve. Adams to serve across, received by Critchlow. Coe trying to set that one up, but nobody home as the Riverhawks take set number two, 25 to 24.
So both of these both of these teams rather in familiar territory going into set number three. The River Hawks yet to uh, go into set number four this season. Yet to well, they did drop a set. Uh, they dropped the set to uh, Butler in a non-section bout, but in section play, uh, the River Hawks yet to uh, drop a set. Yet to see set number four. And the same for uh, Knock. They have yet to see set number four in section play or non-section play this season. Uh, as they've been swept in their first four games, three sets to none. So uh, the Knights looking to change that, I'm sure, here. Coming into set number three on this Ryan Bowser State Farm Agency game night on High Top Sports Network while we have a couple minutes. I'm going to take a break here and hear from some of our great sponsors. Make sure you stick around uh, for set number three, as we'll be right back after this break. Shop and Save at Franklin Village is a family-owned, community-dedicated supermarket with a wide variety of quality food and friendly personnel to make your shopping experience easy. Stop by their award-winning butcher shop where you'll find the freshest cuts of USDA-inspected beef, pork, and poultry. Head to the bakery for the freshest bread and rolls, and don't forget to stop by the deli for an excellent selection of cold cuts, meats, cheeses, and prepared foods like their fantastic fried chicken. That's Shop and Save at Franklin Village. Arms Care, located at 85 Glade Drive in Catanning, provides the highest quality medical equipment, supplies, and service for use in your home. After an accident, illness, or surgery, the caring professionals at Arms Care can assist you in getting the appropriate medical equipment into your home where you can make the most progress on your recovery. Arms Care offers 24-7 emergency service as well as a wide variety of specialized medical equipment and their experienced staff is committed to helping you or your loved one regain normalcy by providing the highest level of quality home care equipment, supplies, and service. Contact Arms Care at 724-545-3200 today. And welcome back everyone to High Top Sports Network on this Ryan Bowser State Farm game night. Like a good neighbor, Ryan Bowser is there. So Armstrong taking the first two sets. The first set saw the Riverhawks winning 25 to 12. Set number two, Armstrong won it 25 to 14. As the horn sounds, that means that we are uh, seconds away from getting underway as Knox, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Knox still in the huddle, breaking now and heading to the court. And while I have a moment here, uh, High Top Sports Network is excited to broadcast uh, both Knock and Armstrong Athletics this fall. If you or someone you know is a local business owner in interested in sponsoring HTSN's coverage of either Knock or Armstrong or any of the schools that we have on our network, now we're in the future. You can contact us at staff at hightopsportsnetwork.com or by phone at 724-824-3554. You can also find us on our website at hightopsportsnetwork.com, on Facebook by searching High Top Sports, or on Twitter with the handle at hightop underscore sports as the Knock Knights here take point number one in the set. Pock setting up Weaver, and that one goes out of bounds on the near sideline. So serving this one is Alyssa Gallagher, received by Miller. Popped up there by Dudek and then hit across by Adams. Received on the other end by Gardner and then hit across there by Ekas. Pock with the serve, or with the set rather, that time to Romaley. This rally continues. Spoke too soon, four hits on the Knights. What looked to be a good rally comes to an abrupt end. Sending Lane Miller back to the service line here for the Riverhawks. Miller gets it across. Co with the set. That time getting the kill was Carly Booterbaugh, the front wall of Armstrong. Kind of deflecting that ball between them and the net was Booterbaugh for the Knights point. And now it'll be Co back to serve. 
Go serve, received by Miller. That one goes into the net, kept alive. Great play there by the Riverhawks. Hit across, Pock receives it. Miller bumps it up to Weaver. That one deflected off the front row, received by Critchlow. Popped across, Weaver to Pock. And over by Dudek, that one pinned between the wall. They keep it alive, free ball sent over. Miller receives, Pock to Allensworth. And Allensworth just mistiming the jump on that play as it results in yet another Knights point. They now hold a three-point lead here in set number three. Once again, Brene Coe back to serve. Received by Adams. Pock with the set to Allensworth. That time she got a hold of all of it. Bouncing off defenders before hitting the net and then the court. Allensworth with the rocket. That'll send Lily Atwood to the service line as Pock and Weaver check out. Also checking in is Mackenzie Egley. Atwood serve received by Critchlow. Set up there to Ekus. Return to sender there. And Adams with the hammer. That one staying alive. Good defense there by the Knights. Across the, across the court set there to uh, Cassidy Adams for the point. And now that'll set up Armstrong with the serve. Once again, Lily Atwood back to the service line. Atwood serve across, received by Critchlow, set up by Coe. Hit across there, and that one will stay inbounds, finding the near side corner. I believe that was Booterbaugh with the kill for the Knights. Knock holding on to a two-point lead early on here as Booterbaugh will serve it for the visitors. Booterbaugh serve across, received by Adams, set by Atwood to Allensworth. Diving was Critchlow. That's one still alive. Free ball sent over that time by Ekus. Mackenzie Egley with the kill attempt there. Just too much sauce on that one as it sails out of play. And the Knights now holding on to a three-point lead as freshman Carly Booterbaugh back to serve. Adams receives this one. Atwood, Atwood tracking to the scorer's table, trying to keep that one alive, but it'll be out of play, and Nock will pick up another point, a four-point lead. I believe this ties their largest lead, or I believe this ties their largest lead of the contest here. Egley with the kill. Great job by Mackenzie Egley. Getting the kill there for the Riverhawks as that sends Cassidy Adams back to serve for the home team. Adams to serve across. Received there by uh, Booterbaugh and then sent across out of bounds by Crystal Ekus. So the Riverhawks now cut the deficit to two as Cassidy Adams once again will serve it, the junior outside hitter for the Riverhawks. Adams will serve, received on the other end. Pushed across that time by Sierra Mock. And I believe they're going to get the double hit. Indeed, they're going to call the double hit on the Riverhawks and Lane Miller. As that'll send Nicole Critchlow back to serve for the Knights. Miller receives that one. Atwood to Dudek. Nice dig there by Critchlow. That ball sent back across. Atwood serving up to Allensworth. Allensworth with the block in front. This one's still alive. Miller to Atwood to Egley, but that one into the net. And the Knights now with the four-point lead. The knock team very fired up here in set number three. Once again, it'll be Nicole Critchlow. The senior libero to serve. She gets it across, and that one too strong as it sails out of play. Romaley coming in here as well as uh, Jackie Nestor.
coming in for Miller. And didn't see who the uh, Allensworth was the other substitution for Armstrong. Nestor, serve gets across. Set up by Coe. Jumping up to hit that one is Gallagher. Received on the other end by the Riverhawks. Going up for the kill, Jay Dudek. Finding the chink in the Knight's armor. That will once again now be Jackie Nestor back to serve. Set by Coe. Great receive there by Adams. That one blocked back. Diving to try to keep it alive was Romaley, but that one will fall down to the ground for a night point. Back to serve, number 17, Bryn Smith, the sophomore. That one into the net. So the Riverhawks trail by two as they get the serve. And a couple subs coming in. Weaver checking in, Atwood checking out, and then Pock checking in. And checking out is Mackenzie Egley. So that'll send Olivia Pock back to serve it here for the Riverhawks. Pock serve across, received by Kaseki. Set up by Ko. Nice block in front by Romaley. That kill attempt there by, uh, I believe it was Sierra Mock, had a lot of power behind it, but standing her ground and sending it the other way was the junior middle blocker, Katie Romaley, for Armstrong. Once again, Olivia Pock back to serve. Re uh, received by Kaseki. Critchlow sending it forward. Hit over that time by Gallagher, setting up Dudek. Diving for the play was Critchlow. Co with the set. Blocked in front by Romaley, but that one's still getting across. Falk, back row hit by Adams. Slapped across by Gallagher. Falk, getting it to Weaver for a free ball for the Knights. Sending it to Co, and now going up is Mock. Nice dig by Adams. Dudek once again will hit it across, but that one too strong. It'll go out of bounds, and the Knights will take over to serve. Coming into the game to serve for the Knights is Madison Gardner, the junior defensive specialist here for the Knights. Miller receives. Pock with the set. That one goes to Adams, deflecting off Kaseki out of play. So the Riverhawks picking up yet another point there. They lead or they trail by just one, excuse me. Up two sets to none. Here looking to close it out in set number three. The past two games, the turning point was around uh, point 10 in the last two sets. We'll see if Armstrong can string together a run here similar to the previous two sets. Dudek back to serve. Kaseki receives that. Co with the set. Nice dig there by Dudek. She's going to get back up after the dig and send it across after the pass by Miller. Blocked in front by Romaley. Hit over by Ko Romaley, just a blocking machine. Kaseki heading to the sidelines to try to save that ball, but holy moly, that was great blocking in the middle there by Katie Romaley. All tied up at 11 even here at Armstrong Junior Senior High School. Dudek back to serve. She gets it across, received by Kaseki, and hammered down there by Sarai Weaver. Jade Dudek serving it again here for the Riverhawks. She gets that across, received on the other end by Gardner, set by Co, and then pushed across there by Gallagher. Falk with the set to Adams, and another rocket shot for Cassidy Adams. As she just hammers that ball across for a point, and now the Riverhawks with a two-point lead. Their largest of the set so far. The lead mostly held by the Knights up to this point, but the Riverhawks... Turning on the turbo here, about midway through set number three. Dudek serves it across, diving for it, but unable to make the play was Gardner. 
And now a little bit of a run by the Riverhawks. And we saw this in set number one with Dudek at the service line. She's trying to repeat history here in set number three. Really went on a roll in set one from the service line. Kaseki receives that one as the ball skies high in the air. Co sets it up to her teammate. They send a free ball across, received by Dudek. Hit across in the middle row by Adams, but that ball will meet the net and then fall down to the court for a Knights point. That will now send number 27, Alyssa Gallagher, to the service line here for the Knights. And that one will meet the net. So these two teams trading balls into the net here on back-to-back -back points. That'll send Lane Miller, the senior libero, to the service line here for the Riverhawks. Allensworth also checking into the game here for Armstrong. Miller serve across, misplayed there on the other end. And so it'll be an ace for Lane Miller. Lane Miller serves it, received by Kaseki. Co with the set that time to Booterbaugh. Armstrong able to dig that out, and then uh, Weaver sends it across. Free ball sent over. Dudek will receive. Pock with the set to Allensworth. Deflected in front. Pock will keep it going. And trying to hit it across from the middle row. More towards the back row there was Jade Dudek, but that ball meeting the net. So the Knights sticking around here. Down by just three as Brene Cole is set to serve. Co serves it across. Adams receives it. Pock to Allensworth. And that one's still alive. A little premature celebration there from Armstrong, but all is well for the Riverhawks as that ball eventually finds the night side of the court. As Atwood checking in here along with Egley. And Lily Atwood will be back to serve now here for Armstrong. Popped up by Co and a free ball sent over by Booterbaugh. Atwood with the set to Allensworth, kept alive there by Egley. Atwood will set up Egley, but it's not enough, uh, not enough air underneath that ball as it runs into the net. And now just a three-point Armstrong lead as Carly Booterbaugh, the freshman middle hitter, will uh, serve it up. Received by Adams, set by Atwood, back to Adams. And nothing the defense can do about that rocket shot from Cassidy Adams. The Riverhawks now back with a four-point lead as the aforementioned Cassidy Adams takes to the service line. Adams to serve across, received on the other end. Co with the set up that time uh, to Mock. Atwood with the set to Dudek. She sends a rocket shot over. That receive will end up on the other side of the court. Allensworth with the kill there. A nice dig by Critchlow, but her team unable to follow up on that impressive dig. And Allensworth will get the point, sending Adams back to the service line as Armstrong looks to complete this uh, three-set sweep. Co with the set. That time it'll go to Mock. Adams diving for the ball, but unable to pop it back up. As now the Knights will get the serve, and it'll be Nicole Critchlow, the senior libero, back to serve it up. Critchlow serve across. Miller receives. Dudek sends it over. Diving is Critchlow. Hitting it across that time is Gallagher. Set up there by Atwood. And the point will go to Armstrong. Mackenzie Egley deflecting it off the defense's hands out of bounds. So Egley getting the point on the kill and the deflection. And the Knights taking a timeout down five. Now or never time for the Knock Knights if they want to try and make a comeback in this set and force a fourth set here on the road. While we have a second here on this Ryan Bowser State Farm game night on High Top Sports Network. We're going to pause for a quick break. Uh, so keep it locked on to HTSN. I'm Jake DeLuca, and I'll be right back.
your surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Ryan Bowser in Ford City today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And welcome back, everyone, to High Top Sports Network. Back to serve now for the Riverhawks is Jackie Nestor. She gets that one across. Co pops the ball up. That one will go out of bounds. And they will award the point to Armstrong. It looked like there was maybe a deflection in the front there, but the referees rolling it an Armstrong point as the Riverhawks now just four points away from taking the match victory as that ball hammered by Nestor into the hand of Mackenzie Egley. <laughs> I'm sure Egley just happy that that wasn't her head on that serve. As that'll send uh, Bryn Smith on the other end for the Knights to serve. Uh, Lane Miller receiving that one. Atwood going to get called for the double hit there. Once again, Bryn Smith, the sophomore, will take it from the service line. Received there by Miller, but looked like Atwood got under it after uh, Miller received that one, but they're going to call it down. And now, don't look, the Knights going on a little bit of a run to stay in this game. Down just three, Bryn Smith to serve. Dudek receives that one, Atwood popping that up to Romaley, and Romaley will get the point. Some substitutions coming on. Weaver and Pock in the game for Atwood and Egley. That'll send Olivia Pock, the senior, uh, one of five seniors on this team, to the service line here. Pock serve across, received by Critchlow, sent by Coe. And then a great kill that time from uh, Sierra Mock. As the Knights hanging in there in set number three. That'll send Madison Gardner back to the service line here for the visitors. She gets it across. Adams receives. Ramele able to hit it across on the set by Pock. Adams digs it out on the other end. Set by Pock to Weaver. And that one finding the soft spot for a point. Sarai Weaver gets it across for the Riverhawks. Now they need just two. And once again, a timeout taken by Knox. So we'll pause as well on this Ryan Bowser State Farm game night on High Top Sports Network. I'm Jake DeLuca, and I'll be right back. Just finishing up a 100% outside renovation project at Containing Store. Don't miss out. Come and see us. Check out our Pennsylvania skill game room. We have the newest machines, the newest games. We have five machines. We're about to add a six machine. $10,000 jackpots on all six machines. Don't miss out on a chance to win. We have the lowest possible prices and the best quality of anybody in the area. We'll take it up against anybody in the area. We put our stamp of approval, hashtag Sable Meat, on every single package. And we're here to serve you every single day. Sorry to cut our friend Ryan over at Sprankles off a little short, but... Back to game action here. Jade Dudek back to serve. That one received on the other end by Smith. Hit across, diving for it was Pock, but the Knights sticking around here, trailing by just three as Critchlow checks out and coming onto the floor is Crystal Ekas. Back to serve, number 27, Alyssa Gallagher. Gallagher serve, received by Miller. Pock with the set to Adams. She just pushes that one across. Able to keep it alive was Booterbaugh, but that ball will find the net. And now it's match point for the Riverhawks as Lane Miller tracks back to the service line to try and end things here in three sets. Free ball played across. Pock receives it. Adams trying to end things right there. 
but she finds the top of the net, and that ball comes right back to the Armstrong side of the court as the Knights live to play another point. Back to serve, Bren Brene Coe. She gets it across. Cassidy Adams receives it. Pock will set up Adams. She hits it across, deflected up front. Coe keeping it alive. Sent across there by Booterbaugh, and the Knights sticking around. Brene Coe, the senior setter, back to serve. Coe serve across, received by Dudek. Pock with the set to Adams. She hammers it across. Coe keeps it alive, and that one hit over that time by Ekus. Hawk to Adams, deflected up front, diving for it, kept alive. Ekus once again sends it over. Miller to Pog to Adams. That one deflected, and it wouldn't have mattered if it was deflected as that one finds the corner. And the Riverhawks take yet another section victory. Three sets to none. The Riverhawks still yet to drop a set in section play in the Whippeal class 3A section 5 games they played so far trying to find the right word for it but hey what a great uh what a great win here for the Riverhawks another 3-0 victory for Armstrong as they remain unbeaten in section play and overall moving them to a 5-0 overall record 4-0 in section and just reverse those numbers and you'll find Knox record 0-5 overall 0-4 in section uh but before we sign off here I think that we have to give our TGIF Solutions Shellhammer Atwood and Associates player of the game out. And, uh, you know, the player that really jumped uh, out to me tonight, and there were a number of great players that are deserving of this award here uh, for the Riverhawks, but uh, just the impact that uh, Katie Romaley made here tonight, uh, you know, just blocking everything up front. I believe there was one set or one point uh, where she had three blocks uh, before uh, the Knights eventually surrendered the point to the Riverhawks. But she was just a uh, net front presence that the Knights couldn't really get around tonight. Uh, so if I had to give it to anyone, the TGIF Solutions, Shellhammer Atwood, and Associates player of the game will go to junior middle blocker Katie Romaley. So congratulations to Katie, as that one just about does it here for me up in the... Uh, Crow's Nest at Armstrong Junior Senior High School. The Riverhawks take it three sets to none. Set one opening up 25 to 12. Set two, 25 to 14. And then the Knights pulling out the dramatics here in set number three. But the Riverhawks able to walk away winners 25 to 22 in section play. So without any further ado, I've been Jake DeLuca on this Ryan Bowser State Farm game night on High Top Sports Network. We got a pair of volleyball games on Thursday for you, so be on the lookout for those. Make sure you follow us on social media, on Facebook. Just search High Top Sports. If you aren't following us at this point, you're missing out. Uh, if you got a Twitter, we're on there as well, at High Top underscore sports. You can find us online anytime at HighTopSportsNetwork.com. And, uh, you know, we appreciate all of our sponsors and all of you listeners out there. If you feel uh, so privy, if you want to click that donate button and, uh, you know, Share the love here with the high toppers. Any amount will do, and we appreciate it so much. It helps us grow and uh, improve on this product that we love to give to all of you for free. And, uh, you know, it helps us grow, helps us upgrade our equipment, helps us do do better. Uh, so if you feel, feel up to it, click that donate button. Any amount uh, goes a long way with us. So. That just about does it here. I've been Jake DeLuca here on this Ryan Bowser State Farm game night like a good neighbor. You know who's there, Ryan Bowser, of course. Uh, so until next time, we'll catch you later. Signing off on High Top Sports Network, I've been Jake DeLuca.